What's going on everybody? Jay Hayes here since I'm be doing a review on a device that I was sent for the purposes of the review. This company, I can't ever remember me doing a review on any of their products. I know that they released the Squonk that was a mechanical. I also think they released a dripper. And I'm not quite sure if this is a subsidiary of another company. Anyway, what we're going to be going over today is the V-Zone E-Mask 218. Ironically enough, the chip that is on here sort of functions the same way that the Tesla does. Also, the Nikolai Niagara, the Squonk Mod. If you haven't seen that review, I'll go on and post a link. Right there. LEDs. I'm usually not a big fan of LEDs just because they don't really serve much of a purpose on a mod, but there are a lot of people that like them, especially the ones that are interactive as you wave at it, it waves back, and as you talk, little LEDs flip up and down. You know, they do tricks and shit. The LED on this is actually placed in a kind of cool fashion. Remember those things that you would pick up and you put a little wheel in and you, and you flipped it and it moved it? Oh my God, I think they were made by Play School or something. Oh, I cannot remember, but there was different little discs that you would put in and then you would hold it up to the light and as you would move through, I'm telling you, you guys nowadays, you think you got a bad with the, with the iPads and the iPhones back then. We were so intrigued and kept so busy with a device that probably cost 35 cents to make. This kind of has the same thing, but with an LED fashion. So without further ado, Let's flip it. V-Zone E-Mask 218 watt. Now there's different configurations as far as LEDs are configured. This color configuration or this design is called the pistol. And that makes, I have no idea what the correlation between a pistol and this is, but that gives you a certain scene on the mod. Instagram and their Facebook. On the bottom of the box, you're gonna have a little UPC, which is going to designate the design that's on the LED block itself. I don't think that there is anything here that I could see visually that this is the color of the box. I feel that each one is going to be a certain color dictated by the design that's on it, like this guy here. And then for the scratch and sniff, this is going to be a caramel romaine lettuce, flavor and scent. On the back of the box, baseball card stat sheet. Just go ahead and freeze frame that for you. Large ventilation mask. Good. Down here on the bottom, you're going to have all the information for the company, and then you're going to have a display of the box itself. In front of this is going to flip up. Box mod. Inside the box on the bottom, you're going to have a micro USB. Quality assurance, which is stamped. Hopefully it did pass quality assurance. Battery safety card, very, very, very good thing. And always in all of my videos, whenever a company includes this, is just a straight up win. They're telling you that if you have janky batteries or the skin of the batteries coming off, it's like a hangnail, don't just leave it there. You know, remove it. Because then every time you move or every time you put it on your shirt, it's gonna get caught, it's gonna rip your shirt. Same thing with this. Every time you put this inside of your mod where it's ripped, it's gonna get frayed that much more. So just replace that battery wrap. Okay, then you're gonna get a user manual, E-Mask 218 watts, a live young, vape it up. That's not a good motto. It's very self-explanatory how to run this chip. It's not difficult whatsoever. Then you have the mod. When I was talking about the frame, we're talking about this right here. I don't think there's anything on the box or when you do purchase this, whether or not you can select which frame you're going to get. This back piece here where you see all these little triangles is what changes colors based off the LED that you have behind it. Usually with LEDs, I despise them. I just think they're absolutely corny. They're childish. They don't really serve much of a need on a mod. But with this, they kind of tactfully place it in where it's not over obtrusive. You can shut it off but it also looks nice with certain colors which i will show you in a second on the top for what we could fit 26 millimeters are going to give you no problem at all 28 and 30s will not work on this you see there is very 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 little bit of overhang on the very top up here where the beveled edges are not so much the mod i don't know how well you're going to see that 24, no problems whatsoever. 24 goes right to the beveled edge. Designed by V-Zone on the bottom. Take this door off, there's a latch right here, pull that up. Really, really nice magnets. The door itself has these little nipples on the inside which are gonna catch and not allow that door to rattle about. Very, very, very nice touch because usually when doors just have magnets on it, they move about a lot and become very, very annoying. And then on the inside of the door, there's some venting right here on the top and on the bottom. And when you put this on, snaps in really, really nice. No movement at all. And that's also because the door is recessed in. So you see these little nipples here? 
they're gonna catch where the screws are. Just like that, no movement. There's only one side of this that lights up and that's the side that's not the battery door. And the reason being as well, if they were to make the battery door that much more compatible, they would have to put contacts down here and then run wires through the body. And I just don't see much of a need for that. However, if they did do that, it would keep it a little bit more uniform. 18650s on the inside. It looks like they could have got away with 2700s based off the inside and how much more room they have. As far as height is concerned, no, but left and right, definitely. So we're just gonna push up and try to put it in at the same, there we go, so it's positive there, negative here. I can't remember what mod that was, but that bothered me like crazy. No matter what I did with the door, I could not get it to sit right because of the ribbon. At least with this, it's recessed. So once this goes on, that's it. No movement at all. This display reminds me a hybrid between the Nikola Niagara, which is probably the same exact chip and it's outsourced and the Tesla, the way it functions. As soon as you press the up button, it's immediate. I mean, like that is the quickest reaction time to ad adjust power. And as you go all the way to the top to 218 watts, you push it again, round robins back. You'll also notice that the screen is a little cockeyed and slanted. These are the things that are meticulous that bother me a lot. There is no way to really open this up to move that screen. It's something that most people would just deal with and it wouldn't even bother them. But being that I pick on everything, why the hell not? So let's go through the menu, one, two, three. It's gonna allow you to cycle through the different options. You have your resistance there, battery, you hit that. It's going to show the firmware that is on there. Normal on the bottom, you hit that. You got normal, soft, hard, user. That's the style in which way it hits. On the bottom, it's gonna say KA. Click the button three times, one, two, three. Go down to KA. Then you have 316, nickel, titanium, and then temperature coefficient rating. I really don't think a lot of people are using temp anymore. I just, I feel like that is a very, very dead breed of vaping. And then over here you have your M functions, M1, M2, M3. One of the biggest problems I have with all of the memory functions is, let's just say you set up memory one, memory two. The minute you hit the fire button or you press up, you can't cycle through them. All that does is just turn it off and then put it back to watts. To configure the LEDs that are gonna be on this side, not the battery side, press the up and the fire button and then you have LED one. Let's turn up the lights. Let me show you how this works. That is LED one. So hit the fire button. See, so that changes colors every time you hit the button. You have blue, red, green, and purple. It's pretty nice. It's not too much, and as you can see on this side, there's nothing there. And there is no way to adjust the brightness of the LED. It's naturally that bright. If you press the down and the fire, that's going to lock the power, and you don't have to worry about not accidentally hitting a button and adjusting the power because it does absolutely nothing. However, you can still fire. The V-Zone E-Mask 218. Let's bring it on the top. Back on the top with the V-Zone E-Mask. 218 watts with the Zurich X RDA sitting on the top. Let me show you some vape production, 73 watts. <laughs> You know, wow, I'm not really sure who's responsible for this chip. It makes me really wonder who is the designer because this thing ramps up so fast. Listen, here we go. Wow, that is extremely fast ramp up time, fans. Fans, that's when you put a fan on while you're running fast, fans. Stop running so fans. Stop, stop running so damn fans. <laughs> There's no way that you're vaping at that power. There you go. You thought he went away. He's back. This company, again, just like I said in the beginning, I'm not really sure who this company is. I can tell you this. I really like the way that the mod feels. I like the way it hits. I'm not, see this is rough because I'm not a huge fan of LEDs. I don't like LEDs lighting up everywhere. This isn't horrible because it's, first off you can turn it off and then it has that really nice gated design on it. It'd be cool if both sides did light up and I feel like a lot of people are gonna like that because well, certain designs do certain things. Price point of this is really, really high for what this is. Dual battery 18650s, 218 watts, sort of like the SIG, but that was 213. Also, the SIG was carbon fiber. This is just straight up alloy. I, I, I can't understand why the price point is as high as it is. I'm a little shocked at what the price point is this. I feel something like this shouldn't be worth more than 50, 60 bucks, but this is the same deal that happened with the drag when it first launched. I believe it was $100 and it went down to 80, then 70, then 60, and now I think it's free. No matter where you go, you buy a juice, you get a free drag. <laughs> 
Oh, you bought Q-tips. Here's a mod. It's really, really not bad. There's really not a whole lot to say. The display that's on here functions just like the Tesla does. All in all, it's a decent little device for what it is. It's just that price point is going to deter a lot of people from buying this as cool as those LEDs are. It's almost like no matter how cool you make your mod, if you're going to put it at the price point that you have it at, you have to really back that up. There has to be something that's innovative with this or something that's really, really cool that people are going to go out of the way and spend that kind of money. The market that we're in now is people want the most bang for the buck and they really don't want to go over that 50 60 dollar range for a dual battery box mod whether that's 2700s or dual 18s if i was to rate this device on a zero to ten i'm gonna give it like a six six point five i really 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 like those cutouts without the leds but if you like leds you do have that option there's a lot of configurations on this but the funny thing is as much as that screen looks like the nikola niagara screen and it functions like the tesla it's not like either of those because one the Nikola, it has no temperature, this does. I guess we go into the next argument is how many people out there truly still use temperature regulated devices, whether that's nickel, titanium. It's like DNA tried to bring it back by using replay, but at this point, I think that horse is already dead. No one has ridden on that, so just let it wither away and let the maggots get at it. It's very hard for me to recommend this just because of the price point that it's at. If it was lower, I absolutely would recommend it. I don't feel like this is going to be a great device for those that are just starting out, just getting into vaping, because sometimes people go into stores, they buy these crazy setups that a lot of people have, something like this. I'm not saying this is ridiculous, but for someone that's just starting out vaping, there's so many other options that are out there. This does come as a kit, but the way that I got it is just the mod. All in all, not bad for what it is. The price point is just really, really high for a dual 18650. And I've kept it real. Have you? Jay is out.